Hey guys, welcome to this video. I want to talk to you a little bit about a particular spot. Yeah, so this particular spot is interesting in its characteristic. There's a large pond, and on an outgoing tide like today, the water will drain out of that pond through the, this channel, which is about 30 feet wide and about 8 to 10 foot deep. It'll flow out of that channel and into the Murgo. There we go. Dang. Ooh, that's what's going to make me change. Now they're fired, fired up. Trout, school of trout. Wonderful. Another it's been a winter day. <laughs> and today was not particularly a cold water temperature day. It was about 64 degrees. So you'd think, you know, there's no, really no reason that the trout have to stack up in a deep hole. Uh, but they, we were catching them down in the depth, in the 10, 8 to 10 foot depth, uh, but also up where the transition happened from the 3 foot deep pond down into the channel. So the baits that we used today were jerk baits and swim baits in a lead, on a lead head. And then also we had some live shrimp, which I fished on the trailer of the Chalmette rig. That under the horn. Have a three eighth ounce sliding rattling weight. It's a speck. Oh, what you got to do? Here. Where'd you catch him? Got him? In the middle. In the middle? Deep water. It's about yeah, seven foot out in that hole. And he came up for it. He came up for the jerk bait. Yeah, that's a decent fish. Jerk bait. It'll work. Bigger. Not huge, but bigger. So I caught trout on jerk baits right where the transition was from the pond, the shallower pond water, down into the deep channel. When I wanted to fish deep in the channel, down at the 10 foot depth, I threw that lead head with a, a quarter ounce lead head with the swim bait on it. I was going to say, your rod's bent over pretty good. Oh, nice trout. There yeah. Go. There are trout in this hole. I was primarily using the Matrix Shad uh, shrimp creel because there were a lot of shrimp jumping around. And on the way out, we saw quite a bit, quite a few shrimp. Another decent fish. Oh. Yep. These are all keepers. That. I'll give them some long. Wow, strong fish here. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, I was just about. Oh, nice fish. Oh yeah. That's one of the keepers. That was just on the jig. as well that live shrimp on the trailer of Chalmette Rig work very well, thrown out there in the, in the eight, 10 foot depth. Yeah. Well, that one caught on live shrimp on the trailer hook of the Chalmette Rig. <laughs> it must be that hole. I mean, I can't quite reach it. It's got to be maybe another 10 feet back or something. Well, you might measure. He's skinny. Boy, I was really happy with the bass bite today. Bass. The bass. <laughs> okay, bass. I'm keeping bass today. I'm doing a meat haul. I'm keeping these bass. They're actually pretty good eating. That looks like a bass. Yeah, the bass. There's a lot of bass in this place now. Now we didn't catch trout on every spot that we stopped and fished, but we did catch bass. Literally every stop that we made to fish, we caught bass. Uh, it's a great fish to have around, especially concentrated in this winter winter time because they're aggressive. Uh, they'll readily attack 
uh, artificial baits. Now we did catch a few trout today uh, in some other areas ar around the Murgo and Bayou B Avenue, um, but this spot was by far the most successful of anywhere we tried. Something hit this good. Oh. Wow. Yeah, you got a you got a bull red probably. Oh yeah. Fortunately, I don't have much line on this. Oh! Yikes! Did you see how big he is? Holy cow! All right, tell me when you can. You ready? You're gonna hold them up. There's not even a. There you go. That's more of a proper picture. Uh, we got a little. I got a little frustrated. Uh, first thing in the morning, coming out of the Bayou B Avenue at the lock. Oh, there's the fish. All right. Oh, he's a little guy. But a little guy. Finally, Todd and I are out here. The mouth of the lock at Bayou B Avenue. Birds are flying, shrimp are jumping, and they are not biting willingly. Oop, there we go. All right, that finally. It feels like a little more, I don't know. It's tougher, but. Oh, it's kind of small. It's certainly got a good pull to them. It might keep. Oh yeah, that's definitely a keeper. Yeah, that's a keeper. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a keeper. We worked that spot for a good 45 minutes with very little success as far as trout goes. We caught some bass, caught a couple trout, but uh, they were not, the trout were not stacked up there, uh, even though it, all the signs seemed to say that they, are, that they were there and they were feeding. So Todd and I had a fun day. Caught a lot of bass. We caught some speckled trout as well, and uh, it was a great day. So, hey, uh, leave any comments if you have any. Always appreciate hearing what's going on and uh, uh, what, what you guys are up to. And uh, get out and fish if you can.